What's good, hand thing? It's your boy Conejo, and as you guys already been knowing, we got a good one today. We're gonna be pretty much speaking on someone from my neighborhood that when I was doing time, even though this individual happened to be someone that was a rat, and like, do you know what I mean? But I didn't know at the time, but I will get into an explanation. But it happened to be someone that told your boy that they couldn't really be messing with me. It ha happened to be part of the whole writer movement, right? And the only reason I'm bringing this profile up is because um, I just dropped a video not that long ago. I'm pretty sure you guys tapped into it, which is the motorcycle one. And towards the end of the comments, someone was asking about Spooky, which happens to be someone that ended up riding on one of my boys, Danger, from Clifford, you know. And he happens to be someone that was from Clifford as well, but he ended up defecting in a bad way. But we are going to get into this, that profile and I hope you guys like this video. So before I get started, man, make sure to put some likes for your boy. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit all that good stuff, right? That follow. Um, hit that notification bell. And when you do hit that notification bell, make sure to hit all so that you don't miss out on no content. And especially when we go live, man, because we have a great time when we're all there in the lives. So with all that being said, man, let's get started. So I happened to get transferred. Um, I want to say in... Like around 2012, I ended up getting transferred from Ironwood to um, to Soledad. I ended up going to Soledad. I believe yeah, I, was, I believe it was 2012. I'm gonna have to look at my paperwork. But I ended up getting transferred to Soledad, and I ha happened to get get there while it was on lockdown. So for the people that have been in Soledad, when you get there on lockdown, there's no program. You go straight to the cell. If you happen to go to the cell, if you happen to be level two, then you might hit the gym. You never know. So I ended up going to the cell. We got there on lockdown. And apparently they were already on lockdown for like 15 days. Um, someone had dropped a kite. So it was something really petty. Um, so I, we got there on lockdown. And they happened to start running visits um, after after a while. You know, they didn't do them right away. And in Soledad, they, if you happen to be on B yard or, or, or A yard, um, they share the visiting room, right? Because they both happen to be groups that are integrated yards. I'll just say that that they're integrated yards, and they happen to share the the visiting room. So they have to, they go one week, uh, one 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 yard will go, and then the other week the next one will go. So they started running the the, the visitings, and I happened to get a visit, man. So I was like, man, fuck, I got ready. Um, I went to my visit, and I happened to come across some some homies, right, from from the area while I was in my visiting. Which, I, I don't get me wrong, when I went to my visit, I didn't care who was out there. I wasn't really out there to go pay attention to anybody else but my visitors, right? So, I ended up um, running across a homie that was from my hood. He ended up seeing the CW on my hand. And if you guys look at my wrist, I, I also happen to have Watsonero Fresero. And he was, like, tattoo checking me, I guess, right? And I happen to have uh, a Mongo, <laughs> you know, I was I was always a, a person to have some type of like where I would stand out, I guess, in prison. So I had a Mongo. Um, so he ended up jamming me up like, hey, bro, uh, where you from? You know, and I just looked at him like so I, I told him I was like, uh, this was referring to like the town, you know, because I kind of figured he, he did have a tattoo that represented the town as well. So I was like, oh, I'm from Clifford, homie. So he got all happy. He was like, oh, okay, this homie's from the hood. He was like, oh, I'll talk to you later. I was like, all right, that's what's up, G. But at no time did I tell him that I was a writer. I mean, that wasn't the time or place, right? Plus, uh, at that time, it's, it's not like I wanted my family members to be like, oh, this fool is over there still living that lifestyle in some type of way, right? So I was like, okay, I left it at that. And after the whole visiting was over we happened to push he started asking questions as well as me um i wanted to know who who he was right because he had just told me his name he's like oh man uh my name's mark um i was like oh that's what's up g i told him mine um i actually gave him my placaso which was casper <laughs> you know uh gave him my placaso and he's like all oh, right so he started asking questions about the hood and I mean, I told him a little bit, don't get me wrong. I was like, oh, yeah, they, they got homies out here and they're doing their thing, you know. And he's like, oh, that's crazy how the hood has grown from being like a, a known to be a small neighborhood 
to actually becoming a pretty decent size of a hood and after chopping it up uh we went back to our buildings of course and like i said we're, we're on lockdown so after i want to say another i think it went like for a month we're on lockdown and after we came off lockdown well of course man your boy conejo happened to do his rounds um happened to look for the compas luckily um i knew three compas that were solid you know that i happened to be doing time with um in san quinn uh shout outs to demon from san ho pug from uh humble county and um there was another homie named bubba from salas right um which some people may know who he is some people may not um if you happen to know who he is man drop a comment and let me know if if you know some things about him because lately i've been discovering a lot of things and I've, i just be tripping out but to get back to the subject um i happened to push and did my laps and um Happened to come across the, the homeboy, right? The homie Spooky. And he kind of seen that I was posted up with uh, with, with the riders, right? We had the, all the riders together and we were posted up on the yard. And he happened to see me posted and he was just like looking at me like kind of weird, homie. So I was like, I just, I nodded my head like, what's up, G? And he waved at me like, hey, come over here. You know, like, hey, Kyle. And I told him, hey, like, well, I was, we we're taking care of rider business. So I told him, hey, like, hey, give me a minute, homie. Like, I'll go right now. And this is where it's going to get funny and interesting, right? Because at that time, I didn't have no bunnies on me or nothing like that. Um, I really didn't have that many tattoos, just my my active tattoos, you can say, right? So I ended up uh, approaching him after I was done. Of course, he was with the rest of the homies from Watson. Um, shout out to some of the real ones that were there, right? I'm not going to say him and a couple other homies that were with that little bullshit, right? I'm not going to give them shout outs, but most of the Southerners that were there, man, they ain't give a fuck. Shout outs to them. So um, I ended up approaching them and they wanted to have like a conversation, right? Because I, I, I remind you guys at that time, I believe I'm, I'm only like 21 or 20. I, I, I was young, bro. Let's just put it like that. I was young. I think I was 20. And he's like, hey, bro, uh, you see those dudes that you were talking with, right? He's all, th th them dudes are riders, bro. He's all, th th those are the Nortenio riders, man. He's all, me personally, we, we don't fuck with them. He's all, we don't kick it with them or nothing. They try to, like, utilize the youngsters and, and get into their minds and, and use them, right? And as soon as he started talking about that, I, I, I had to cut him off. I was like, hey, hold on, bro. He's like, what? I was like, hey, hold up, G. I was like, look, um, first off, I was like, I'm a Nortenio rider, homie. I was like, I happen to be a part of that movement. I was like, so first off, if you're going to start talking bad about it, I really recommend you to think and think about your words, bro, because I happen to be part of that movement and we're going to have issues, bro. Uh, everything you have said about them is a lie. Ain't no one ever pressured me or, or told me to do anything that I wasn't willing to do it uh, out of my own fucking my own conscience in some type of way. Right. Because most of the things we do in there is out of our own decision. We no one makes us do anything. So. <clears throat> I ended up telling this dude, right, like, oh, so he was in shock that I had told him that, right? He was like, oh, what the hell? I was like, bro, I've been a writer since reception, you know, since 2010. And he's like, oh, okay, um, but just so you know, if if you happen to uh, get involved in some 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 issues or anything, um, we can't really back you up, bro. Like, we, we, we can't support none of that. So I happened to tell this dude, I was like, bro, I was like, first off, I never needed any of you guys from what's on, right? When I happen to be part of the whole writer movement, I happen to, uh, in prison, it's a whole different thing, right? You guys got to understand that on these integrated yards, they play the card thing. If you happen to be from the A31, well, guess what? Salinas, Watsonville, Monterey, like everybody from those those little areas, right? Right. We'll post up, same thing with 408 and all these other towns. They do the same thing. Everyone tends to post up and depending on the yard, if there's not that many writers, if they're outnumbered, um they don't really want like to fuck with them you know what i'm saying but once the numbers change where the writers happen to be super deep everybody wants to be cool for some weird reason and that's why i didn't give shout outs and props to some of them foods that happen to be from the town that that were there man repping the the dropout norte i guess right <laughs> but yeah so they they didn't really want to uh, be cool but then when i seen them on other yards <laughs> they were all super buddies and some of them even become compas it was a trip i'll just say that that right um so they ended up telling me that man so i told him i was like i never needed you guys so i pushed off right and i just laughed at this dude right 
But after that, um, I ended up like, of course, asking about who this individual was. And I was glad that I had like cut him off right there and then. Right. Because I ended up finding out that old boy had testified against the homie, which I guess down later down the line, I seen some YouTube videos where they explain the situation where he got removed. Um, apparently, they tried to uh, whack him in Mama Donna. He, uh, he jumped out the thing, got lucky, and ended up making some statements um, when he was going on the medical on the ambulance. He ended up making some statements on who was the individual that had harmed him. And I guess apparently did not go testify. But once you make a statement, um, we all seem it, it, it takes its course. So that was a little encounter that I did have with old boy for the individual killer clown that taps into the channel. Um, old boy was never part of the writers and he happened to be someone that disliked the writers. So let's not give old boy that jacket. And like I said, we don't want to claim someone that has those things, bro. Exactly. Um, he testified on someone. That's how I see it. Statement or not. You know what I mean? Um, it is what it is. So with all that being said, man, I hope you guys like this video. So if you do, make sure to hit them likes for your boy. Make sure to hit that subscribe, hit that follow, and all that good stuff, man. Drop comments, share with others. And when you hit that notification, man, make sure to hit all so when we do go live, you do get to tap in. And for all you guys that are watching through TikTok, man, pretty soon, man, we're almost at, at 2,000 followers right there. So I will be going live for you guys, man, to see, see how it is. I know I'm going to get a lot of gang banging in there, but... We'll, we'll see how it goes. So with all that being said, man, it's your boy Conejo, and we out.